Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. We're back with the uh, Just Trains S8 Advanced Stock Train. Good morning, driver. Please set the unit for restricted manual forward and move into the platform. So, today we're doing the 714 Amersham to Algate, running as far as Harrow on the Hill. We got Chilton Railway Service, probably going to Aylesbury. But we need to set up this cab, so let's do that. Keep this into restricted manual. I think it's down there, is it? Yeah, looks like it. Bit hard to see, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to Algate, so let's put Shift in E, enable Dead Man's Handle. Um, on screen, does it give us a train number? 437. Okay. Four, three, seven. Confirm. So I think it's an old station service. I believe. Looks like it. So. Um. So Algate slow from Amersham. Yeah. So two one two. I assume it's a uh, what do you call it. All station service because we're only driving as far as Harrow on the Hill. Okay, we're good to go. If it was a semi fast service, then we would obviously skip uh, the two stations between Harrow on the Hill and Wembley Park, which is Norfolk Park and Preston Road. Obviously, we're only going to, as far as Harrow Hill, so I'm not too sure uh, if we're going to be stopping at those two stations. So, we'll just put all stations as we head into our uh, Amersham Platform 3. So, I've already done two videos on this uh, with this train one on this route already, which is a scenario called Rickmansworth Starts, and I've done uh, another one on the West Coast Main Line. Uh, Watford DC line route between uh, Watford Junction and Wembley Central so you can uh, obviously drive that this train on that route if you do wish to okay, let's line up this properly This is Amersham, this is an all station service to Algate. So one thing I've realized is that this scenario could actually be driven all the way to Finchley Road, realistically, because you cannot actually drive this train to Finchley Road on this route, so not too sure why we're only going as far as Harrow on the Hill. Because the journey between uh, Harrow on the Hill and uh, Finchley Road is quite interesting because obviously you can skip the two stations between Wembley Park and Harrow on the Hill. Let's close the doors. And obviously you see all the Jubilee line uh, line stations, which obviously the Metropolitan line doesn't stop at. Is it closed? Um, my blue light's on, so I'm guessing we're good to go. Oh, whoops. Let's actually uh, switch it to trip clock mode. It didn't tell us to do it, but I guess it wants it assumes that we know how to do that, so we'll do that. Let's into trip clock mode. And we should be good to go. Man, 
It was all close, all on there. Yeah, they look close to me. Timings for each of these stations would be nice. But anyways, I'm sure once some of you guys make me some scenarios for this route, then obviously. Looking at timings. Yellow signal is to this. Train 437, Algate, Metropolitan Line Bull Stations. So far, I've been really enjoying driving this train. So we're good. First station is Charlton and Leitma, followed by Crowleywood, Rickmansworth, Moor Park, Northwood, Northwood Hills, Tinner, North Harrow, and Arrow Hill, which is the third closest station to my house. So I do know it very well. I think this is the easiest way to stop in the right location, just go really slowly. Open the doors. Obviously a real train driver would know exactly where to stop. And not drive like 3 miles an hour into the platform, but anyways. I'm not a real train driver and... Obviously a real train driver could probably like move his head and actually see it whereas this is kind of in the way as you can see so as you can see all the doors are open so in the previous station it was all red still even though the doors were closed so that was a bit weird doors closing Eliminated, so the, I kind of feel like that all those should be blue as well. But anyway, let's just get going. Pretty cold in London at the moment. Next station is Hollywood. I 
will try to do the snow scenario in the next video. Maybe I can show you guys the sleet uh, option that is available on some of these uh, SA stock trains. So I did try to do a quick drive scenario on the virtual district line with this train, but it doesn't let me uh, do any quick drives on that route for some reason, so maybe you guys can let me know why. If it's even possible. Shoot the railway service. So this train is actually pretty good for AI on a lot of uh, different routes. So obviously um, on this route as the Metropolitan Line, you can use it as the Hammersmith and City and Circle Line or the Western Main Lines route between Westbourne Park and Royal Oak. Um, on the Virtual District Line obviously you can use it as a District Line AI. On the Corsa Direct Line, London to Portsmouth, you can obviously uh, Use as a district line between uh, Wimbledon and Wimbledon Park. So there's quite a few options. Now right in Hollywood. I think we just stopped a bit early there. That's okay. Only thing is the screens won't uh, obviously load up. Well, how are the back doors opening? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's kind of strange. It's on the platform, so I'm not too sure why. Pretty weird. So why, why are only these doors opening at the station? That's just interesting. Anyways, next station is Rickman's worth. You can see on the map um, between Harrow Hill and Wembley Park, you have that dotted uh, purple line, which is obviously for semi-fast services. And for the fast services from Algate to Amersham, then it also skips between Harrow and Hill towards Rickmansworth, so it skips all of these stations. So a fast service is actually quite fast, a lot faster than most the semi-fast service and of course, uh, station service. Just train a 
eventually add um, announcements for this train because that would just make this train perfect, pretty much. Because the model and everything is pretty much good, really good, and the only thing missing is the announcements. And that would make it a lot more uh, fun to drive. like stop at the precise location which I actually didn't realize I could do until now but obviously this view makes a lot more sense and obviously you can see out the cab as well where is it? Is it after this yeah it is I don't think we've stopped in the precise location. Actually, we have. Got these screens are on. So these are still images. They would be our uh, moving images, but obviously, limitation to train simulator, so you can't do much, unfortunately. Maybe on train simulator, you probably could get that to be a moving image, but unfortunately, not on. Uh yeah, why are these doors not opening? This is really weird. So all these back doors are not opening, which is... I'm not too sure why. So only these front doors are opening, that's just like... I don't really understand that. Like... I'm not too sure how to fix that either. And even on... Oh, whoops. Sensitive... It's triggered. Um, hmm. What have I done? I think the doors were all closed, right? I never close to me. Okay, sensitive edge has been activated. Please check that all doors are closed. And press the sensitive edge button in the cabinetry moving. Yeah, that closed. Well, they didn't even open to be fair, so. Or maybe they're not opening on purpose just so to uh, show you kit, showcase the sensitive edge doors uh, option. That could be it. And look all close to me. Yep. That looks all good. Turn that off and we can get going. I think I'm gonna press Shift E and then we can get going. Okay, we'll, we'll know at the next stop if all the doors are opening again. Maybe it's just set up this scenario so that uh, some of the doors don't open and close properly. Just to showcase that, I'm guessing.
station is Moor Park. We can change for services towards Watford. This is the old station Metropolitan Line service to Algate. Might be having a train coming from Watford from that side. I'm assuming. Can obviously check. I think we should be okay. Yeah, it looks like we're actually I think I can hear a train. Nope. Let's just quickly check the map. Yeah, there's no trains coming, so I think we should be okay to go. But if you pass similar danger, then obviously, uh, you know what will happen, alarm will kick in. Looks like we're good to go. Yeah, I think Justin should kind of fix some of these scenarios. Okay, these signals should be green, but they're red for whatever reason. Considering they delayed it by three weeks, then I kind of expected them to uh, fix any problems with these scenarios. As we arrive at Moor Park. Park, Northwood, Northwood Hills, Pinner, North Harrow and Harrow on the Hill where another driver will take over. <coughs> Still have a really bad cough so I do apologise. stop at the correct location from uh, this side of the cab. Let's see if we can actually do it. This platform doesn't seem to be loading up properly, it seems so. So, well, that wasn't great, was it? That was a poor attempt by me. But, anyways, still open the doors. Show to the railway service. This station doesn't really load up properly for me, I'm not too sure why. Anyways. 
Yeah, the front doors are only the front door, front carriage doors are opening, which is really weird. Don't know if that's a glitch or not, but anyways, we're good to go. They didn't say anything in the scenario did it, about the doors not working. Anyways, I don't know. If you guys played this on, then let me know. <coughs> if you guys have the same problem. <coughs> Some stations like the rear doors won't open because of the platform not being uh, long enough, but all the other doors should open. So, I'm not too sure about that. And obviously, this screen is not showing up correctly either, so I guess this scenario is a bit broken. Our next station is Northwood. Southbound platform. I've actually been on the Metropolitan Line in real life is actually to Pinner Station, so anything further than that I would actually travel in real life, so don't know too much about the, how accurate these are. We stopped. Yeah, we should have stopped slightly forward for the screens to open, but are the doors opening? No, only the front doors are opening. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit broken. I don't see why these doors are open. I don't think I can open them man well I am op obviously opening them manually because obviously these doors are open but Okay we're good to go. Next station is North Hills. Hills, I believe North Harrow, Pina and Harrow on the left, so two stations left.
good. Apologies for the rear doors. Actually, to be fair, oh, most of the doors not opening. I do apologize. Guess we're having technical difficulties with the doors, I guess. Yeah, that's really weird, you know. Train is ready to depart. Please mind the doors. Next station is Pinna. station so I might actually stop just before the where we went to stop because I kind of want to take a nice screenshot and unfortunately like where you need to stop like you can't get a nice screenshot on the front of the train so we are purposely we're just gonna stop the train slightly earlier Departed, damn it. That's a bit annoying. So, obviously, if you stop here, this kind of gateway thing is kind of in the way of the screenshot, so. It's a little bit annoying when you're obviously trying to take a screenshot. is ready to depart please mind the doors
going perfect. Wow, that's crazy. So we actually stopped there pretty much perfect though. That was obviously luck. No skill involved there. But yeah, normally on this screen, when the doors are closed, this all of it should be blue. And only obviously if it's red, it's the doors are open. So this screen is a bit broken, I think. I don't think you can fix it or nothing. Control panel. Door control. Station skip. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything like that, so. Let's close the doors. And on to our next station, which is Harrow Hill, where our journey will end, but another driver will take all this journey towards Elgate. Two is for the natural rail services, and obviously three, four, five, and six are for the metropolitan lines. I think three and four are for the services that come from uh, Oxbridge, I believe. I just want to take a nice screenshot. So, so let's quickly take a screenshot. Not the best screenshot, but I'll take it. So obviously we didn't stop correctly because I wanted to take a screenshot, so... Normally you would have to stop uh, down here. But anyways, our doors are not opening anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. If the rear of the car is not on the platform, they would have to walk through the train anyway. Good luck driver, a crew change will take place here. So guys, that was a 714 Amersham to Elgate service. So we did move the train once while on unloading. I think that's when the sensitive edge thing happened, but yeah. So two scenarios done, a few more left to go. Uh, let me know out of these scenarios what you guys want me to play next. I was thinking about doing the snow Sunday next because it's in the snow and I think that would be pretty cool to see. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Share with your friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.